Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So the topic for today is about a budget uh, nature deck that I'm gonna do a, a play test and I will discuss it later. So without further ado guys, uh, let's proceed. So as you can see, uh, we will do a play test for the budget deck that I created. So for me, when I say budget, this is only comprises of uh, divine orders, core, and welcome. Because the good thing for those guys, you can like earn those one just playing without uh, trying to purchase anything, right? Because of like uh, rewards from weekend rank and also like uh, by leveling up. So because our opponent is a deception, I highly recommend uh, Selena's mark here. Uh, if my opponent is like a uh, nature, uh, I will go for animal bun and and magic. So magic, nature, uh, and death, I will go for animal bun. But for deception and war, I will go for like a Selena's mark here. So as you can see, we will go for a uh, lowest casting cost. Oh, okay. we had like a not a good. So hopefully we get a, a early uh, creatures. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so we only have the celestial stack, guys. So we have like a bad draw. So the good thing, guys, we can like kill that one as soon as possible. So we need a creature guys on the board so we're gonna play for the actually we can like go for a yeah we can go play for a, a stag guys basic favor right, let's go for uh nine favor guys <coughs> So high chance he will trade that one because we will we have like a little bit of like a bad draw guys and that's the main reason why. My turn. Uh, we can like save it for later for now. Uh, we should go for lightning strike now, guys, because if this guys if we play stag, he might play uh. It will get bigger and bigger, guys. We just do a control as early as possible. And later, if we can, like, try to get uh, a better. So, currently, we don't have, like, a good feature on the Sanctum. But we can, like, try play Celestial Stag. And, and yes. So, this is, like, a good now, guys. We can get now the Weekend Trapper. Play Celestial Stag first. And then we can Trapper. So, as you can see, play this one. So we're gonna go for this one so we gain six. We're gonna get the weekend trapper. And then we will get another uh, cards from him. So that's a nice guy from the Celestial. As you can see, Celestial Stag, after you play your first creature each turn, exclude this creature, add a random nature card to your hand. So it's a it's a random nature card, but good for us he gave us like this agrador so one of our he, usually he has like a rapture dance guys so we will play less creature guys for now we can like play only uh, agrador for now and then attack so as i expected he will kill that one So we can kill that guys with low hanging fruit. So this or just probably simply a I will go for a low hanging fruit guys for now rather than ping. Because I want to get a So I prefer Agrador guys. Because I would like to get an extra bonus card from the stag rather than playing. I will probably play Moonlight next turn. 
So he might kill this one. I think he, one of these will buff, but we we're gonna play moon moonlight next turn, guys. <coughs> moonlight charm. Uh, he cannot do that one because we have like a regen guys. So we're gonna play this one guys. And attack. So it's now a 5-7 guys. It's a big threat for, for, for him now guys. So that's the good thing about the Selena's mark. That's why I highly recommend for uh, deception because he can still hit hidden or even ordered creature, guys. As you can see, we still have Blitz Confused. We don't play too much cards, guys, because usually they have like Rapture Dance, guys. So I think we have to kill and steal cards from us, but it's okay. We can like kill this one with that one. With this one, this will be buffed more because this will only give the strongest creature, which is strongest. Just focus on strength, not health. So he managed to stole this one for us. So top card of your board. So next, it means like our next draw is like the. So that's the good thing, guys. Uh, can just simply attack this one guys and attack one so I play this one because this is like a 2-2 this has like a 2 armor guys it will be uh, unstoppable for him. <coughs> we can like play guys. Uh, it's okay guys. So he can like attack and king. We can like play uh, Omnibus Barrow next turn. Oh, he never killed this one, guys. I'm gonna play this one and get this deal 3 damage so I think my mistake I attack I should like play giant pangolin and attack that one guys and then attack face at least it will this deals me three more damage rather than playing this one guys so at least he his threat will be the giant pangolin guys so as you can see I don't play a lot because of the Technically, he might have like a, a rapture dance that he's waiting for me to cast more creature. Oh, well, that's a good play.
It's okay, guys. We're gathering a lot of uh, spell spell cards, so we can like literally deal more damage to him later. So, as you can see, we already have like a 5 damage spell. So, as you can see, I'm still not playing Falling Star because I don't want like to for him to grab the opportunity. It's okay, he's already confused. So it's hidden guys, so technically I will just able to attack his face. So I can like drop one of the falling star or maybe this one, the Monsonian guys. As you can see, because it's hidden, it doesn't matter guys. I can't do that. Oh another bug guys. Uh, lucky for him. I can't do that. Uh, So we can play this one. So he got lucky guys because as you can see if we're gonna enter. Uh he's supposed to be dead now guys. Uh see that was like a cheat code. <laughs> he managed to survive that one. But like I said, we have like total of five damage guys. So falling star, can it, this one can be replaced by any uh, five casting cost. Probably a a, a guild enforcer, guys, as you can see here. But as you can see, uh, confuse will automatically hit front line unless there's another front line, guys. And as you can see, we have like total of five spells. So now guys, uh, we're gonna go now discuss the deck. So there are lots of variation of this budget deck guys. And But uh, as you can see, the underbrush board that you saw, it's not mine. I get that from the blessed uh, the blessed stag. So just like to make sure I'm gonna show you the deck composition guys. So as you can see on the deck composition guys, uh, I put two falling star, but if you don't have like two falling star guys, as you can notice, the falling star, I, I did not manage to use deception because I'm worried about rapture dan. This can be replaced guys by a uh, a guild enforcer guys. This is like a, a good alternative. And as you can see, I highly recommend this kind of uh, six casting cost. One hunt, uh, two giant pangolin. Giant pangolin are common anyway, so high chance you can get. If you don't have like Sudden Loom, you can replace these guys with a, a, a The Hunt guys. Because the main reason why uh, I, I like the, the Hunt is I, the Sudden Loom because sometimes this is like a good finisher guys. Especially if you manage to trigger the Frenzy, it will have overkill. It literally overkill your opponent. Uh, for the forecasting cost, you can like add uh, multiple various forecasting costs. I put Nefarious Briar just like for removers of the weapon, guys. I just add one. Some players add uh, S Vart, guys. Uh, it's up to you guys. Like it depends on like uh, S Vart, just also good for removing of uh, weapon, and also good for uh, uh, removing sleep, guys. So that's an optional there. Blade fly is, is my additional optional fly uh, optional here. You can like use even uh, add uh, wildfire, but the head count is like I prefer four five, uh, four six, and the forecasting cost I highly rec uh, for now for me I love like the four for the forecasting cost I like four of it. And in the celestial tag, if you don't have like celestial tag, you can still go with the uh, rabbit bear guys, uh, rabbit bear. You can still go for rabbit bear. This is like literally a pure common now. But as you can see, if you don't have like moonlight charm, you can like remove it. Uh, forecasting cost, and you might add like more uh monsonian here, addition additional monsonian. As you can see, guys, uh, play some players play pyramid warden. We can replace it with skeleton heavy. I do not have like a. I did not add a uh. 
Uh, I didn't add the underbrush board, but you can like add one, one Monsonian filtrator here. And as you can see in my one casting cost, uh, this is like my standard uh, low hanging fruit. Uh, uh, two long low hanging fruit, one watch. You can like add uh, additional uh, wild boar here, guys. But as you can see, uh, on the, on that my deck constipation. Uh, if I gonna return it back, I will go for sudden bloom here. Sudden Bloom, uh, you can like do mix and matches, but uh, I highly recommend uh, if you have like two Falling Star, go for two Falling Star because it can like kill big minion and you can summon more and it buff majority. For the forecasting cost guys, if you don't have like, you can still use Wetland Ogre guys. Uh, Wetland Ogre or Starving Saber too guys. Starving Saber suit is good because if you're fancy, it will have regen and and it has like uh it has no confused guys compared with the overgrown rhino so this is like literally the ultimate but if i gonna improve this one guys i will go for this one and because majority of my creature are wild i might like uh add like either instead of briar i go for wildfire guys but because of lots of war meta currently uh at least one rem weapon remover is like a, a must now guys or Three casting costs, I still prefer Stag here, guys. So this is like the upgraded ver super upgraded version, but I still prefer Stag because it adds it adds a uh, card to your additional cards, guys. So Pyramid Rewarden, uh, some players play uh, Black Jaguar or not, but they have like Underbrush Boar for board control. And this one. So if you, sometimes if you add one more, sample for the three casting costs, uh, either I go for the... I uh, highly recommend this one guys, uh, the charm, the weapon charm, the moonlight charm, or you can like just go for the harrowing, uh, the, the harrowing, uh, the ominous barrow, because the ominous barrow sometimes guys, it can summon your, in, imagine in third turn, in fourth turn, you will have your, uh, your uh, moose guys, your staggering moose, a uh, brazen moose, so it will summon the, uh, brazen moose but i highly recommend this one guys because it literally pumps your creature especially if you have like an early early board uh black jaguar and manage to hit frenzy and then it, this one become five five guys i only recommend one because sometimes uh you may have these two in your hand it's like a, a one card will be dead card you i just only recommend one okay and save that so this one okay so guys, if you have like questions, suggestions, kindly please leave me a comment. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like. And thank you for watching. See you next time. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out